everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I'm filming a bit of a random video that I hadn't planned to film. I'm at my parents house and basically me and mum was talking about makeup and her makeup bag and I was like oh I could do my makeup at yours using your makeup and then she was like oh why don't you film a video of you using her makeup and I was like actually I could. So here we are. I'm going to try and make it quick because my battery might not last too long and also I've got another video to film today anyway which is a what I eat in a day video not entirely sure when I'm putting this video up but we will see oh she's got the headband um in here that I used to sell I have this colored one um but we don't need that but anyway um ooh, oh my god that's actually quite big <laughs> this is the product that I got mum um for her birthday so let's use some of that um, this is the Ordinary Mineral UV Filters SPF 30. So let's pop some of that on. That's interesting. This is interesting for me to try because I always use SPF every day. So I might use this in the future. I'll zoom you in in a minute when I get going with the makeup. There we go. It doesn't feel greasy. I think the worst thing with... Um, any SPF is that it can feel greasy, which is just horrific underneath your makeup. So that blends in nicely. Right, let's begin. I won't do too much in terms of makeup. Oh, she's also got my lip gloss in here as well, which I sell, link in the description. Okay, um, oh God, her beauty blender looks like it's, it's not doing too good. Let me zoom you in. There we go, you can't really see much of the background even though there is a fireplace, but you can't see it because it's just focused on my face. Um, foundation. Hmm, I might try a bit of this mum's foundation. Does she have any brushes? What's going on? Right, okay, I don't want to use her beauty blender. I think she just, she, does she just use her hands? Is this a brush? I think I gave this to her. Do you know what? I think I'm going to use my hands. This is going against all I've ever done. Right, I'm going to use a tiny bit of this foundation, which is the Estee Lauder Double Wear one just because I rarely use this because I know how thick it is. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand. I don't need a whole bunch of coverage because to me, I don't really care about like my skin in terms of like spots and things. What I more so care about is I don't want my skin to look cakey, which sometimes happens. Cause I think to be honest, that looks worse. Um, but yeah, let's blend this in. This is so weird. I feel like I'm blending moisturizer in, but it's foundation. I always use either a brush or a beauty blender and this feels weird. If my makeup looks really weird and unblended at the end, I will blame this product. Actually, I've just realized I don't have a mirror. This is the no mirror makeup challenge. We found one. Okay, you know, oh, we're, we're okay. Right, mum doesn't have concealer. So what I'm gonna do is, you know, just take a little bit of this. Actually. She doesn't have concealer, so I'm not going to use concealer. So we've put the foundation on. I'm pretty sure mum would put a little bit more than that on, but here we are. Um, now I'm going to look at her brushes, which look like they need a good clean, even though I did clean this one a few weeks ago, but now it's already caked up again. Um, right, so uh, I see a powder, natural collection powder. Use a little bit of that. To be honest, this foundation doesn't need powdering down and also I didn't use that much of it for it to be powdered down because I know it's full coverage and like I said, I don't like my skin to look cakey. But I probably could have done with a little bit more, but you know, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Um, right, so does she have bronzer or anything like that? Oh, she's also got my gel moisturizer. Um, a lot of this stuff is things that I pass to her. Right, I'm gonna have to use this, which I didn't want to use. I saw it and I was like, no. Um, this is from Beauty Big Bang. I passed it to her. It's blusher, highlighter, and contour in one. It's just too pigmented. Like, it's gonna make my face look ridiculous, but we're gonna go for it. So, there we go. And also, it's not my shade whatsoever. So, I'm just taking, like, the tiniest little bit. Okay, I don't even think any product came on there, but that's not a bad thing for me. Okay, you know, it's not so bad. Just a little bit, you know. I wasn't going to do my makeup today, so anything is better than nothing. And then just kind of take that around my face a little bit just to like warm everything up. Right, let me see in the mirror. Anyway, that's not so bad. That's, that's all right. 
we can deal with that. Now I'll use some blusher. I'll just use the same brush because I can't really find anything else. Um, so yeah, um, this one's from Natural Collection. Pop a little bit of that on. I don't know how pigmented it is. Okay, we can definitely see that. It's really hard doing it with these brushes. I'm used to my brushes, which are like just nice. You know, they're cheap ones, but they're nice. And again, I just kind of distribute that around my face as well. Okay, that's not looking too bad. Right, does she have highlighter? Don't know if she does, you know, because I don't think she uses highlighter. But she probably has something in here. Oh, I'm just gonna have to use this duo, uh, trio, aren't I? Right, I'll use this. But does she have a product that I can apply it with? Better not have to use my fingers because that is not gonna go well. Shall I just use a little bit of that? I'll just tap that in there. It looks like she used it, or was that from when I had it? And I'm just gonna pop it up my cheekbone. Like that. And then I might take my finger and pop a little bit on my nose and down my nose. And then on my cupid's bow. In a corner. A little bit on the brow bone. And just really make sure I'm highlighting. I like highlighter. Right. Blend all this together. Very subtle look today. Okay, you can't really see the highlight, but... Who knows? Or oh, actually, I think when mum does blush, she uses this, which is from Paw, yeah, Dr. Paw Paw. And it's like, you can use it for your lips or you can use it for like um, blusher. And I think mum uses it for blusher. It's my bronzer looking really dark. And also it's not high up enough. I've put it too low. Um, I put it like down here instead of like, it should be a little bit higher. Let's try and blend that out a little. Oh, it doesn't look bad when you look like that, but it's just like a line. Ah, uh, never mind. But yeah, I won't use this today because um, I have used a bit of blusher and also I've already powdered and you shouldn't use this on top of powder because it might um, disrupt the base. Right, eyebrows. Does she have eyebrow products? Hi, it's me. Um, I was just having a look around and um, she's got loads of mascaras in here and there's like a blue one and... Yeah, most of them look absolutely dead anyway, so I don't know um, why she's got so many. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to find something for brows, but I think she might use eyeshadow. First of all, I'm going to use this spoolie that I found, which um, I used to sell on my website, but now I add in as like freebies. For example, if somebody's ordered off of my Etsy or eBay and they've ordered all of my products, like I, if I know that they tried them all, then I will add in these, or sometimes I just add them in anyway, just because I've got loads. Um, but yeah, I think she might use, oh, I could use this palette as like an eyebrow shade. This is the, the Nudes palette by Maybelline, which I know she's had um, for ages. The only thing I can think of to use is this little brush here. Um, so I might just do like a subtle eyebrow look because I don't want to mess anything up. I might use this like ashier shade. I have to see what's going on. Oh dear. I should probably use a mirror. I'm trying to look in the viewfinder, but that's just going to go completely wrong. I might have to shut up because I feel like I won't be able to do this. It's going to be a subtle eyebrow look. I usually use a pencil and I like wing it out on the tail. Don't think we can do that today. Okay, I don't think they look that bad, to be honest. Um, not what I'd usually go for, but we're working with what we've got and I've actually managed to um, do something. Right, so now I'm going to do eyeshadow. Does mum have any eyeshadow brushes? I actually, she doesn't have any fluffy eyeshadow brushes. The only one I can see is this one, which look, oh my god, look how much product is on that. Um, so yeah, that needs cleaning. Um, yeah, she needs some fluffy brushes that we need to get this woman some stuff. Um, all of these palettes, I think I have actually passed down to her apart from this one which is from Primark so we'll use this one this is the smoky eyeshadow palette from Primark they're definitely 100% trying to mimic the smoky palette from Urban Decay um, but yeah this is what the shades look like so I'm just going to do something simple because with this kind of brush we can't really do anything other um, because it's just 
it's one of those ones where you can get in the crease and that's it like you can't blend anything out fluffy or anything like that might use my finger actually so yeah i'll take this pale shade and just kind of pop that over my eyelid just as like a base and then i think i might just use this like burgundy like purple is that purple like purpley shade and i'll just take that in the crease a little bit just subtly just that we've got something um but yeah there's not much i can do when i don't have proper brushes don't know how she manages to do any kind of eyeshadow with these brushes might need to get some brushes i kind of winged it out accidentally right next side right that's all i'm gonna do i'm not even gonna do any of the lower lashes that's all i'm gonna do um natural collection um i'm gonna use this natural collection waterproof mascara and i think this is brown yep yeah, it is brown um so yeah i'm just gonna pop that on i don't i've never used a brown mascara before i don't think so what the heck does that look like I think I've seen a lot of YouTubers that I watch that like brown mascaras because they're more natural. Don't like the applicator brush, it's a weird shape. And also, I feel like this is running out. So she should probably throw some of these out. She used to have a declutter of her makeup and decide what she wants to keep and what she wants to throw. Because there's a lot of trash in here. Right, we're going for a subtle um, mascara look today. Yeah, I don't like this brush. Um, don't like the mascara in general, um, but I don't know if it's because it's like running out or something. But yeah, like I, I look, I think, better than when I first started doing my makeup, but it's definitely subtle. Um, now all that's left for to do is lipstick and, hmm, what shall I use? I want to use my lip gloss because I like using glosses, but I'm going to use a lipstick and then I'll probably put gloss on top so that I can show me using something different. I can see a lot of these stuff that I've passed over. So what can I use today? Oh, this looks like a decent colour. Um, this one's from, oh, this one's from Estee Lauder and this one is in the shade envy she's probably had this for years anyway um but yeah i'll just start popping this on i actually gonna dab my lipstick on it so pop it on and it just means that you don't get loads and loads of color because i don't like to have like a ton of uh, pigment i like it to look a little bit more subtle i think if i had more of a like full coverage look then this lipstick would look better but i think it just stands out too much from the rest of it Right, I might pop a little bit of my gloss on now. So this is what it looks like with just the lipstick. And I might pop a bit of gloss on because I think we need some gloss. This is um, my lip gloss in the shade Peach. And there we go. That just makes it glossy. I think I would prefer the look if it was just a gloss on to my normal lip colour but you know that's what we're working with don't think she has setting spray or anything like that um so i'll try and put all of the brushes back but there's not that many um so yeah how do i get that on the wrong one I sure i have to fix this herself um but yeah that is the finished look this is what we look like and i will take my hair down and yeah i think overall this is quite natural looking and not too full coverage first of all we did start off with like a not full coverage base which was just a light base of foundation and then all of the products laid on top i didn't want to you know make them too much so yeah it does look quite subtle um i like the eyebrows i think they're all right eyeshadow we couldn't do too much mascara do not like that um lip gloss and lipstick I'm, I'm liking that that's absolutely fine um but yeah overall very natural um i don't look how mum looks when she does her makeup maybe i'll show you what um she looks like when she's done her makeup in a second this is what mum's makeup looks like when she does it herself mm -hmm. 
a lot more than what I've got on my face right now. I know. Now. I think because I wear glasses, I tend to put to... Because oh, yeah. I've got my huge glasses on as well. Can't Jeez. really see the makeup behind that, so I'm trying to make the makeup a bit more bold. Oh, so see it. Oh, where's my telephone? Um, but yeah, and also bearing in mind that I am not doing mum's makeup routine, I'm just doing um, using her makeup that I find in the bag. So um, maybe we'll film a video where I do mum's makeup routine and she does my makeup routine. Um, but yeah, um, so thanks for watching this video. It was just really random, randomly thought of video. Um, but yeah, I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.